Show me a Blizzard shirt. Where is it? <laughs> like that? Nice. He's, he's prepped. Uh, still tracking a, a powerful nor'easter now. It's uh, parked off the uh, the coast of Cape Cod, a very slow mover, still with gusty wind. And even when the snow lets up, we're seeing a lot of blowing and drifting of the snow. Both TJ and I can attest to you know, very difficult uh, travel, especially on some of the secondary roads. Uh, the blizzard warning uh, expires at 8 o'clock. Initially, uh, last night, it was going to go to midnight tonight. Now it's set to expire at 8, 8 o'clock in the evening, where we'll fall below uh, b blizzard criteria. Uh, take a look at, well, for the governor still says the travel ban is uh, in effect throughout the afternoon. Of course, the snow-covered roads and uh, blowing and drifting of snow. And still tracking some uh, snow bans on, uh, on Doppler radar and uh, moderate to heavy snow at times. And certainly some areas could still pick up uh, an inch or two of snow in some of these heavier bands. A little time lapse we did in our pinpoint weather yard in East Providence last night, early this morning. You can see the snow piling up, and uh, it continues to snow in uh, many areas. Uh, this afternoon. Uh, what to expect? Well, 18 to uh, 24 inches of snow. I mean, most of this has actually occurred already, so I would say 90% of the snow has fallen, but we'll still get some pockets of an additional 1 to 3 inches in uh, some of these heavier bands of snow uh, that are still coming through uh, off the ocean right now. Uh, significant, in fact, major coastal flooding with this storm, much like what happened back in uh, the blizzard of 78 across east coastal Massachusetts, you know, places like Situate with um, you know, cars flooded with uh, water coming in off the coastline during the high tide cycles, along with these uh, very strong uh, northeasterly winds. Uh, snowfall amounts so far. Boroughville leading the pack at about 24. Smithfield at 20. Riverside 20, including Somerset, Coventry, got just shy of 18. The Ed Port and Warwick, 17.3. Uh, and TJ, you were telling me that's the eighth or ninth. The ninth largest snowstorm. The ninth largest uh, snowstorm at the airport in Warwick. And, you know, we need an additional, I think I, think I have the data right here. Do I? Um, let me go back here. Yeah, there we go. Um, so what do we need to, to get into the top five? We would need probably how much more? About another, about another inch or so. Yeah. So, I mean, we're close to actually moving up uh, even further on this list as we're still tracking uh, some of the snow in Doppler radar. So bands of snow will continue this afternoon into the early evening, still getting gusts, especially coastline 40-50. And some of those heavier bands could still squeak out an inch or two per hour. The blowing and drifting will continue in the dangerous travel conditions. You can see the winds whipping down the coast of Narragansett and uh, the waves coming in. Fortunately, no uh, serious coastal flooding on our coastal waters, just for the simple fact that uh, you know, you need a real strong southerly gale most of the time to get coastal flooding. But look at the spray coming in off the breakers. As these, as these waves come in, you can see some of the spray uh, right in here. There you go. As the winds are still howling out there along the, uh, the coastline, uh, you know, 45, even uh, 50 miles per hour. Echo Lake, a real cool time lapse here, but what an eerie landscape. Uh, with the blowing and the drifting of the snow in that location. As the storm center is now spinning uh, east of Cape Cod, intensifying rapidly and still throwing back uh, the shield of snow uh, this afternoon into the early evening hours. Take a look at Futurecast at uh, 4 o'clock, and it shows the bands of snow. Uh, advance this now. As you can see, things will be winding down this evening. So uh, snow continues uh, moderate to heavy at times into the late afternoon hours, and then uh, things will dry out this evening as some leftover light snow, but blowing and drifting. A bitterly cold night. Wind chills will be below zero. Uh, we're back to sunshine and uh, drier weather uh, on Wednesday. Thursday looks fine. Here we go again with uh, more snow on Friday. I mean, obviously not a blizzard, but this may bring some uh, minor accumulations very late Thursday night uh, into Friday morning. Of course, we're here all throughout the day. We're doing live updates on Channel 12 on the half hours, and uh, we start a full... Uh, team coverage, uh, a newscast beginning at 4 o'clock, and we'll check back with you in a little bit.